Magicians, the Book of Death. We are as puzzled as you are, said the King of Death to his uncle. The policeman in charge of the mysterious death of a priest in his church. Oh, not good. Thought you would know what happened, said the uncle, Sergeant Reynard Alexander. He was a good man, by his records I saw. When I judged him in the afterlife, said the king of death. Did he see his killer? asked Reynard. No. He heard a voice chanting in a strange language. Then he was dead, said death. Did the reaper collecting him say anything strange? asked Reynard. No. He said the priest was alone. Said the king's death. How long was he dead before the reaper came? asked Reynard. Not long, said death. What killed him? asked Reynard. We don't know. It seems like it may have been a dark enchantment, said death. Oh, said Reynard. What sort of enchantment? We are reading up in the library. On it, of enchantments, said Death. The Grim Reaper walked out of the dark portal between the dimensions of the living and the dead. I don't know, said Death to the Reaper, who was his assistant. I Blake, said Dante, the Reaper. Anything new? asked Death. Yes, we found the spell, said Dante. What was it? asked Death. It came from the Book of Death, said Dante. You have a book? said Reynard. No, it's not my book. It's the Egyptian Book of the Dead, said Death. It's real? said Reynard. Yes, said Dante. Is it a rogue reaper killing people? asked Reynard. No, it could be anyone. It was lost ages ago, said Death. Where? asked Reynard. We don't know, said Death. How could you lose a cursed book? asked Reynard, shocked. We don't know. It was lost, said Death. Reynard understood, but felt no comfort that killer had. Now, later in the afterlife, good news, fate has told me to stop the killer with the priest who was killed with the Book of Death, said the necromancer. The son of the King of Death. You're boasting again, boy, said Death. I would have thought you would have liked the help, said the offended assassin of fate. He's just worried, said Dante. How do you know? Death asked. You're talking to yourself. I'm reading your mind, Dante said. Death, who was in human form, glared at Dante. Oh, you do care, said the necromancer. How can I not, Lance? You will only run your fool's neck into a noose. We don't need that. I'm sick to the neck of your shadow, the angel of death. Kill him when you sleep. I don't want to have him awake full time. He's more of a pain in the neck than you are, death said accusingly. The angel of death was the soul of the necromancer who came out of his body when he slept, and was worse a killer than Lance ever was. Lance had a conscience. The angel didn't. Lance looked awkward. Is there any way to stop the book working? Asked the frustrated Death. Yes, the Book of Life, said Dante. Where is it? asked Lance. Lost, said the equally frustrated Dante. Where? asked Lance. My office, I think. Where in Death? 
had it here a while back. I was studying it. I think it got lost in the paperwork. We better start looking, said Lance. And they did. Lance expressed his surprise multiple times while rummaging through the cluttered office. I had no idea they passed away, he remarked. Death usually replied with a hmm in reply. A week later they found the book. Now we have it, what do we do with it? Lance asked puzzled. We burn it, snapped Death sarcastically. Are you serious? asked Lance. He's joking, said Tarjay, disgusted. We read it. It is a book. That's what you do with books, Death moaned. Yeah, said Lance, wondering what they needed to find in the book. Death sat at his desk. Can someone move some of the paperwork so I can see the book? Asked Death. Lance did something he knew would annoy his dad deliberately. He pushed the piles of neatly sorted paperwork all over the floor. Death was fuming. You can see the book now. Look at it, said Lance. He liked messing with people's minds. Do you have to make a mess, you psycho? Snap back, Death, the judge of the dead, who was livid. Lance was bored, messing with his dad, because he was too easy to get a rise from. He left, not out of fear of being sent to hell. He'd been there a few times, the Grim Reaper. He was blase about hell. Later, while he was trying to hunt the priest's killer, he found a man following him. Hey buddy, why are you following me? He debated materialising behind him. You are the necromancer, said the man. Yeah, I know that. Said Lance, why are you following me? A big black book from a tote bag. And began to read from the book. Why are you chanting? Lance said. And it struck him that his follower was the man he was hunting. And he was hunting him. Why can't I move? Asked the bewitched Lance. The man kept chanting. Lance felt himself dying. You don't want to kill me, said Lance. Thinking about his dark killer soul being released on the world, the chanting continued. Stop, my soul is monster, pleaded the scared Lance. Then he heard another voice chanting, a voice he knew. Dad, said Lance. Don't interrupt him, said Dante. Lance saw them now. Death was a magician in a black tux. In his hands was the now glowing book of life, which he was reading from. The man with the book of death and the king of death chanted at each other five minutes when Lance was finally released. From the Book of Death's enchantment, and the reader of the book exploded, and the book dropped to the ground. Only this would mark the conclusion of the tale. However, being reapers, they assumed responsibility for the processing of the deceased gentleman's soul in the realm beyond. While he was being judged, they asked him a few questions. Why did you kill the priest? asked Death. It turned out to be a difference in doctrine. That was the motive for the murder. And the book made the killer think 
he had been called to kill for God. He saw himself as an avenging angel of death, killing an enemy of God. He tried to kill Lance, as he fought him a demon. The deluded killer was an Egyptian language scholar. He found the book in an old occult bookshop he'd entered on a whim. He found out what it was when he tested it on a fly, it died. Then he tried it on the priest. As his punishment, the killer was sent to hell. The end. We hope you enjoyed that.